Hello, I am Tina Pehi. I am a Google Certified Trainer and a member of Global GEG from Manila, Philippines. I am here to answer how do I make my classroom posts more dynamic, which relates to creativity and innovation in Google Classroom. Have you found your students lacking comprehension or simply overwhelmed with what you'd like for them to learn and do? Did you know that giving good, clear directions enhance student engagement and allow them to self-regulate and be more in charge of their own learning? Let me share contextual examples of how the new rich text formatting features can be used to engage learners, including attention-grabbing announcements in the stream, asking insightful questions, designing assignments with instructions that stand out. As you can see, the new rich text formatting feature allow you to set keywords to bold, italic, underline, and create bulleted lists. Keyboard shortcuts such as Control B for bold, Control I for italics, and Control U for underline also work in this new rich text formatting feature of Google Classroom. First tip, let's go over some great ways to grab your students' attention in stream posts. Varying how you post announcements Keep students engaged in the content that you'd like to share with them. In this example where I would like to welcome the class, I have a bulleted list of instructions and I added emojis to make it more visual for my students. The second tip is all about asking well-structured questions using rich text formatting. In this example, you may use the formatting feature to direct your students on the main topic or keyword that you would like for them to respond to. Just like any announcements or assignments, you may schedule your questions so that it appears at the right time that you would like your students to access their task. If class commenting is turned on for your students, they can also communicate in the same way, such as using emojis and icons for even more creative and fun features. The final tip relates to making clear and defined directions for your students' assignments. We all know that people don't read directions as often as they should. So how can we draw their focus to the important parts? When giving instructions, you may leverage the use of bullet points to give the workflow and give structure on what you would like your students to do. It could also be used in combination with section heading for topics and then bullet points for instructions relevant to that section. In this example, the tasks are divided into three main sections, instructions to create, criteria to guide them, and then feedback afterwards. Bullet points may also be used to provide a variety of choices to your students, like apps and tools that they are comfortable to use. It's a good practice to attach criteria, just like this single point rubric when giving assignments to your students. You may also notice the use of emojis to give visual cue and again, bold formatting to highlight keywords or acronyms just like tag protocol. Now we know how to create more dynamic classroom posts to promote student engagement and to provide more authentic learning experiences for them. Thank you.